and welcome to another episode of Ant Dice Crafts. Guess what? It's here. My Easy Press Mini. And we're going to use it today and check it out. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's take her out of the box and see what all is in here. I'm so excited. We have an Easy Press Mini. We have the stand. We have the instructions. Listen, they don't just put this stuff in here to just fill in space. Make sure you read it. It, it does help. So let's get the mini opened up here. Let's get the box moved. Yeah. I'm just using my sheet from uh, my other my other easy press. Let's just plug her in. And this is how you turn it on. Just simple. One is low, two is medium, three is high heat. I'm going to let it stay on high heat and get it warmed up. So we're going to warm it up. First thing we're going to do is I have a piece of ribbon here that I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut a hunk of ribbon. I figured since the mini is mini, let's do some mini projects. Um, so yeah, luckily uh, the Cricut cuts pretty small because, well, for this project it needed to. Because we are going to put something on that. So all I did here was I cut out and dice crafts. I cut this out at a quarter of an inch so I'm hoping it's gonna fit and it does. Perfect. So as soon as As soon as the Easy Press is warmed up, we will go ahead and get this done and see how well it works. And look, it's ready. It went green and it made a noise. I like the weight of it, um, the feel of it. So let's go. Let's just go directly over and hold it down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Why did I do 30? Well, because that's usually pretty close to what um, we do with the other machines. So I'm just going to quickly hold it and go over it on the other side just for a second. And still pretty warm, but it's peeling off. So we just peel it off. And 
And there you go. Now we have End Ice Craft on a very small ribbon. Because like I said, well, look at it compared to my thumb. That's that's tiny. Very tiny. Very cool. So what else I have here that I've been wanting to use and try are these magnet um, boards. Just trying to get the plastic off. There we go. That I wanted to put something on them for my dishwasher. So, once again, I thought small project to go with the small, but as they say, mighty press. So, these boards are like two inches square, I think. Two and a half, I think. Yeah, two and a half inches square. So I went into DS and luckily I found some pre made um, decals. Oh, my A moved. Oh, that's okay, we'll just put them back. Anyway, so I found these pre made decals. So I don't have to do a lot of fussing and messing, which is awesome. And these guys are perfect for what I want. So this one says the dishes are clean. And the other one says the dishes are dirty. Very simple. Okay, so we have done the cool, the cool um, ribbon. which seems to have done a very good job in a very short time. Now we're going to attempt to put this on the canvas with the mini. So let's see how well the mini works now. So I'm just going to position this. Since the mini's not going to cover the whole thing, I am just going to hold it and put it down. One, two, Now I know I only did 10, but I've done 10 and I've moved it. Just to help get it to start sticking, so it's not going to move on me. And as you see, when I am done my one area, I don't wish it, I lift it, okay? So, one, two, Three. It's the only thing this thing's missing is a timer. Now I can see me using my mini more than because I don't do a lot of t-shirts, I do a lot of smaller stuff. So I can see me using this mini more than using a bigger one myself. Okay, so let's just put that aside and let's do the other one. And like I said, the reason is for me 
is just simply because I do a lot of smaller stuff. Lift, move. That's how you should be doing it with your easy press, no matter what size it is. If your project's too big, lift and lift. Lift and then place back down. Never, never, ever move it. Same as when you're using an iron, which this is sort of in the shape of at the bottom. But I do a lot of... Uh, little stuff like I said. So this is going to work better for me. Now I'm just going to try to get this all down. See how well it goes. See if this one's down yet. Oh yeah, that one's already down. Didn't take much. Took very little. Still very warm on the back, so be careful. But yeah, so there's that. That one's still too warm. So we'll have to let that one dry or cool down. But yeah, that is like so cool. That's going right on my dishwasher. This is going to be hanging in my car. I'm just looking to see. No, I don't have my lighter in here. My husband has his. So I'm just going to. Eh, it's not going to work, of course. Just going to fray or burn the edges so it doesn't, or melt the edges. So it doesn't fray on me. There's that. There's that one. And there's the last one. So if you're concerned, you can still very carefully go over it. You can put this piece back on but I don't think we need to. I think it's on there. Oops, I just squished it. So that's why you never rub. Never ever rub. Because that's what happens. But anyways, my own fault because I decided to rub when I told you guys not to. But yeah, so there are my projects to try this Cricut Mini out. And let's turn it off. And I am very happy with it. So yeah guys, um, this was just a very quick review of the new Cricut Easy Press Mini and I love it. It's going to be perfect for the kinds of crafts I do. Um, stay tuned because you never know what video is going to be popping up next. So subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button and please remember to like all my videos. Um, all my affiliate links are below to some of the items that I've used in this video. So take care guys and happy crafting. Bye.